XM. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Perfect timing. It's Johnny Knoxville on the hotline? On the phone. Who's on the phone? It's been a while since I I seen Jackass 3D. You just saw it. Yes, I did. A couple did. days ago, right? On the, the DVD. The DVD. They're hooking it up right now. I see that the hotline oh, yeah. is on hold, so. Oh, he's not ready yet? What? Who the, who the what the? the ah, His I hear people you. Are, oh, the uh, people are trying to set it up. You got to call some people, jewels. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, no, who's a friend of the show now is uh, one of the Biggest Loser guys. He's a Long Island guy. You didn't watch Biggest Loser, though, I just realized. No, no. I think it was uh, season two winner, Eric. Yeah. Who ended up uh, gaining a lot of the weight back, and then he lost a bunch of it since. Oh, they got oh Jesus! <laughs> no, not 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 uh, not E Rock. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> that's very. Oh, funny. that's funny. Sorry, I didn't have your mic on for that. That was really good. <laughs> but now nah, this is called filler. I I've been uh, talking to him on Twitter a little bit. He tweeted a picture of a guy that was an Uber fan with license plates and oh really and uh, Wow stickers all over the place. And telling me, yeah, your psycho fans are out here, man. Just wanted to pass this along to you. I saw a guy with like an O and A license plate at a, a store. Yeah, it's like uh, yeah, I pulled That's into pretty the cool. parking lot, and but Love he was it. there, and I got out of the car, and he's looking, and he's like, "Oh my god, look at my plates!" Look, I'm like, oh god, Jesus, guy's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing beats the radio show tattoo, though. I must say, nothing really says, "I don't plan on living very long." <laughs> Like a license plate, <laughs> not a license plate, like a tattoo of a radio show. <laughs> Is this him now? Oh, now they're picking it up again. Hey, by the way, at ten o'clock, we're trying something new. We're gonna we're gonna keep the channel sort of live every day. Uh, the guys are gonna kind of host a uh, like a post show, and uh, and and play like play audio that hasn't been played, like maybe some audio from your compound show, and. And other things that are going around in the hallways. Mm -hmm. And today they're going to feature Brie Olson, one of the goddesses from Charlie Sheen's thing. Yes, of course. She, of course, has been a friend of our show for a while. So we're going to play Earl getting jerked off and uh, Cream Pie <laughs> Jones getting jerked off by one of the goddesses, Brie Olson, who's uh, with Charlie Sheen now. Uh, with that, let's go to the phone and say hi to Johnny Knoxville. Johnny! Hey, good morning, fellas. There he is. How, How are you, doing, doing, sir? Man? Good. How are you, fellas? Good. Where are you right now? Are you... I'm in Los Angeles. Oh, shit. It's early. That's right, man. Damn. You had to, you had to get up for this shit. I was up doing light calisthenics. <laughs> really? You don't yeah. seem like an early morning guy. Well, you know what? I, I, I do get up around 637. Um, I don't know why, yeah. but I do. Damn. That, uh, you still like party hard or, or anything? Uh, nah, like, nah. I got a 14-month-old, man, and, like, I got to get my kid to school this morning. Uh, I, I'll have some beers at night, but I don't, like, uh, you know, like, mm. really. If I'm out of town, you know, I'll, yeah. I'll drink with the fellas, but I'm pretty chill. And, well, you know. Johnny, you just answered your own question. You don't know why you're up at 6.30. You got a 14-month-old. Of course you're up at 6.30 usually. Yeah, yeah. He, well, he he sleeps from nine to nine. Oh, that's not up, bad. I get up early so I can like uh, just look for really stupid things on the internet, and, uh, <laughs> and also yeah. to have a little life before you know he's up. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's good to yeah. Good get a to couple have hours by yourself. Time. Yeah. Has, <laughs> has that <laughs> has has that uh, having a kid changed your way of looking at things, like taking chances and uh, just uh, throwing yourself out there? No, it's like, it, it's it's funny because like right before I had my first daughter, my my life daughter, insurance. Who's fifteen now? I was like, man, I gotta do something quick, <laughs> and that's when I started doing uh, writing articles for magazines where I would put myself in harm's way, and right before Rock or like a month after Rocco was born, I was like, well, we we started Jackass three, so. Mm -hmm. 
I figure, uh, I guess each time I have a kid, I figure I have to do something quick. Yeah, and holy shit, you really take some abuse in Jackass 3. Like, so a lot of the guys do, but I think the brunt of the real dangerous shit, you throw yourself right into it. Uh, is, is that on purpose or just a luck of the draw? Well, it's kind of, it's just kind of how it's turned out. Uh, I, and I, I much prefer to do the stunts, the, the bigger ones, as opposed to watching my friends do them. I mean, the guys put them, they, they get, they, they get a lot of injuries themselves, but, uh, if there's bulls or something involved, I'd just rather take it. You would rather take the bull. Oh my yeah, gosh. It's, it's nerve wracking to watch your friend do something. It's nerve wracking to watch anyone do that. Yeah. Cause, uh, watch I just, uh, got, uh, Jackass 3D on DVD, yeah. and uh, I love the, I really love the old school 3D. It's cool. I, I went down into the, uh, I, ha I have a theater in my house. I'm one of the lucky chosen few. And um, <laughs> I, I put those glasses on. It works. It yeah, was like yeah, really yeah. cool. Yeah, you get four sets of glasses with it, uh, with uh, the two disc set and the Blu-ray set. And yeah, the old Anik Live version looks really great. Yeah, it's a it fucking... Blue glasses, right? It work, yeah, it works really cool. And uh, I was able to see, you know, that obviously the f now famous dildo cannon. Uh, that, <laughs> if that goddamn thing doesn't just look like it's flying right at you, that's amazing. And yeah. not until the last second do you know what it is. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you know, you're not really sure what it is. And then you look and just go, ah, it's a dick. You know, Johnny, one of the <laughs> biggest laughs I've, I've ever heard in a movie theater, because I, I went and saw it in the theater, and that when that dildo's coming at you, I've, I don't think I've ever heard a movie theater laugh as hard as they did at that thing, man. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. It, yeah, it, it ain't clever. But, uh, <laughs> Who cares? Sometimes yeah, yeah. the simplest stuff is the best. Yeah, yeah the yeah, no, we uh, we wanted to take 3D to an all new low, and hopefully we did. And uh, man, I yeah, we, we're we're really surprised at how successful well, it was. Well, what what's amazing about Jackass 3D is the the new technology you guys are doing with that camera speed. Holy crap! Oh yeah, the uh, high speed cameras yeah, we, um, are amazing in that. The some of the funniest use of it is the the Rocky, right? Doing the Rocky with the water splash and then the fucking boxing glove in the face. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, man, we had so much fun with the, uh, <laughs> that was my favorite camera was the, uh, the Phantom camera. I would just get whole days where they would let me use it. Oh, man. It was, one day I brought it up to my house and like, uh, I was just throwing like tennis balls at Wee Man's nuts <laughs> on the Phantom <laughs> camera. And I actually ran the Hot Wheels track. Uh, one of those electronic ones, uh, right up to Preston's nuts and had a car right, right, <laughs> right into it. And then Pontius, uh, finished himself off on the Phantom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. But, but listen, you know, it only shoots for four seconds, okay? Yeah. And they're like, when you're getting ready to go, by this time, all, everyone had left and went inside because no one wanted to watch. <laughs> Actually, he got mad for people watching because they were cracking jokes, and he made everyone leave. And, and they're like, when you're getting ready to go, give us a signal. He's like, okay. And then it, the camera crew and, pond, and the camera crew comes inside, kind of dejected about 30 minutes later. And I'm like, what happened? They're like, all he said was, oops. <laughs> 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 so they didn't get the footage. It was <laughs> that would be a, a hell of an arcing shot. Yeah. Probably look uh, quite uh, spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> I think you I've got all those oops moments in my life. <laughs> like, who like, has, who hasn't? You know, there, there's some crazy stunts in Jackass 3D. We all know that. But the one that really got me was the Christmas tree, or the or the tree where they climbed to the top of it, and then you guys. Chopped oh, it down. Right. Yeah. Holy, how the my shoulder on that one? How, how the fuck do you decide that's going to be okay? <laughs> well, he, it's like what? Uh, I, I, what was his name? The uh, the bull rider who's on Dancing with the Stars. I don't know. Oh damn! Uh, to be honest. Uh, uh -huh. Oh man, I, he's made the jewel. Yeah, what's his name? <laughs> uh, he's like he's like I look at this uh, cha cha like I look. Uh, bull riding. You're never ready. It just becomes your turn. <laughs> and on same way on Jackass, it just becomes your turn. Yeah. Ty Murray. That, Ty Murray, we got. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I. Uh, but that that tree stunt, ridiculous. Yeah. That that looked painful. And yeah, it was. 
<laughs> yeah, the uh... we're up there for a long time, and and you know the the only way the tree could fall and you have a, a little bit of a chance is forward. If it falls to the side or back, we're in big trouble. Yeah, the snowpack is almost gone. And right, in, we're up there for about 15 minutes, and it starts to fall, and it starts to fall backwards. And that's when you hear, we hear a big commotion, and they run and push the tree forward at the last second. <laughs> wow, so, lucky. <laughs> well, we had Yarpy, you know, saw on the tree, and he's never, he's got, he's got uh, one thumb. Yeah, he's missing a thumb. Yeah, like, <laughs> what, what? We got to get better people. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. Uh, that one, the uh, wow, that that fucking dog left a hell of a mark on your ass too. Oh yeah, man, that dog was super uh, strong. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Johnny. Johnny jumps up onto this thing, this little cross member, and tries to pull himself up, and the dog jumps up. And it looked like a heavy dog, too, and grabbed onto his ass cheek and was dangling in the air, hanging by Johnny Knoxville's ass uh, and, and the dog's teeth. Yeah, man. That was one of those things where I saw a picture on the Internet of a guy up a tree with a German Shepherd hanging from his ass. And I was like, that looks very funny. <laughs> well, good eye, because it was. <laughs> it worked. Uh, Hey, we know we know you're uh, uh, pushing uh, Jackass Three on 3D. It's available on Blu-ray and DVD tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, but we also want to talk to you about those crazy whites. Yeah, uh, man. Holy shit! Yeah, we were turned on to this movie, and it, it, it's got to be one of the best documentaries I've ever seen. Yeah. It's, it's actually Thank called you. The Wild and Wonderful Whites of West Virginia. Yeah, they're going for it. They're <laughs> winning. <laughs> yeah, the king of white trash. <laughs> how did how did that whole project come about? I tell you, I saw the original Dancing Outlaw documentary about, uh, it's been over 20 years ago. It, wow. was, it was solely on Jessica White, and it was cut solely for laughs. <laughs> you know, it was uh, like all his uh, quotes of like, I'll slice your throat if you don't quit making them eggs as running as you making them. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny. But uh, we, I was taught, I met the uh one of the guys who worked on the original, he actually found Jess Co. And we got to talking, and we decided we wanted to go see what Jess Co. was up to now, uh, over 20 years later. And so we sent a crew up there for three days just to see what we would get. Mm -hmm. And and Jessica is now, like, probably the fifth craziest in the family because <laughs> all the kids are growing up, you know? And they're fucking batshit they're crazy. Out of their minds, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're... I mean, they're like, yeah, you saw it, like, you know, having shootouts with cops. Yeah. And stabbing each other and and snorting, snorting painters. <laughs> pa painters. painters. I need some painters. <laughs> I tried to snort a pain pill. Me and my buddy tried to snort a pain pill in high school. And, man, if we realized that it, you... you and not that I'm condoning it, but you really got to chop those things up because otherwise you're just snorting rocks. <laughs> yeah, it goes up your nose and uh, you just start uh, literally crying. Yeah, yeah I, I uh, you know, yeah, I don't do that no more. But uh, <laughs> the, uh, but man, the the, the whites are they're they're living hard. And, and you followed yeah. them around for a year, huh? Yeah, for a whole year, and I and we tried to make it a more of a accurate way of how they're living. You know, there were funny moments, but there were really scary moments, <laughs> sad moments. You know, the lady has the baby, and, you know, 10 minutes later, she's snorting pain pills in the hospital. With okay, the in the room. yeah, we were trying to figure out what she was snorting. It was, that was a pain pill. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then she and then uh when they took her baby away, the uh, I think it was the mother of the daughter that just gave birth's like, yeah, probably found drugs in her. Like yeah, so yeah, casual, that like that, that's just what happens in that family, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it happened to the daughter, it happened to the mother, and then when they pull up the Taco Bell and the the uh Sue Bob is trying to tell the people inside Taco Bell they took the baby away. Yeah. Screaming through the window, and they can't even hear her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so twisted, hey, man. Hey, they took the baby away. <laughs> <laughs> They're just waving and smiling. Did, uh, have you talked to them since? Because I was wondering that you might have not shown them in a proper light, and they would go after Johnny Knoxville and said, you fucked with us. No, that's just, that, but we 
turned on the cameras. That's how they live. And I've seen Jessica twice since then. I've seen Mamie since then. Yeah. And they're, they're, you know, they're fine with the way it turned out. They uh, were at the DVD release party out in Los Angeles, Jessica was. Oh, damn. It must have been like the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> Man, I tell you, there's a, he, uh, Deke Dickerson and the Echo Phonics played. He played Wipeout, and Jessica tap danced to Wipeout for the guitar solo. <laughs> oh, shit. It was amazing. <laughs> it was one of the coolest things I ever saw. That's twisted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he got his own little wooden stage up there, and then Deke came time for the solo, and Jessica just killed it. That's like some Hatfields and McCoy shit. Yeah, you know, and that's backwoods. Yeah, and just backwoods stuff that like no one could really get a grip of. No one, wow. yeah, no one's. You know, a lot of people have never seen anything like that, and uh, Jesco's lived that. You could do a documentary on them every year. <laughs> it's insane footage every year. I'm surprised someone's not uh, pitching them a reality show. Well, yeah, my my one well, my friend uh, I went to high school with him. He was one of the producers on it. He's wanting to do a show with them, mm. uh, but they're really they're super charismatic, and uh, you know, uh, you know, you meet them and they're they're sweet. They just they're just you know they just that's what they know. A little fucked up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what they know and that's what they do and. Uh, yeah, man. That's something, man. Well, yeah. yeah, it's a, it's a great one. When I, when I see Jessica, I get a little star starstruck. Oh, really? <laughs> you know, He's a, a celebrity people, now. But then I'm with Jessica, I'm like, God, this is Jessica White. <laughs> <laughs> Hillbilly gold, man. <laughs> uh, and uh, again, Jackass uh, 3, 3D uh, on Blu-ray and DVD available tomorrow. Uh, another thing I wanted to ask you about, uh, Jackass, uh, you guys really are in every shot, that you're around another person, you're covering your balls. Yeah. Was that just like going crazy? Was, was everyone just punching each other in the nuts? That's been that way since day one of the TV show. <laughs> because you don't know. That's just, you're being attacked every, you don't know where the attacks are coming from <laughs> any day. So you just kind of start with your balls. Yeah, bam, pissing on people was hysterical, too. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. fucking great. People... <laughs> You, you don't realize that people really get angry when you're pissing on them. <laughs> like, people really get that. That makes people mad. That, that, that's their line in that world. Or when you go, if you're in a bar with your buddy and he gets up to go to the bathroom, just top it off with a little pee, and uh, <laughs> you're not going to be very happy. <laughs> no, I wouldn't gather. If you go to a bar with the guys, you can't, like, leave your beer or drink around ever because it's going to be... Like, if you leave your beer, it's going to be filled up with pee, you know. <laughs> no, it's... drinking a white Russian. <laughs> <laughs> it's so obvious that you guys are completely trying to be on your guard. You all look like fucking, like, like uh, gazelles at a watering hole with lions around Just it. Just looking around. You constantly got that look like someone's going to fuck with me. <laughs> I think I could drink some, some water. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not really sure. Ducks. <laughs> hey, hey, Johnny, what kind of what kind of injuries did you get uh, filming Jackass 3D, and are you, are you all healed now? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty good. I had a concussion, whiplash. <laughs> dislocated shoulder, and I had my tooth knocked out by a dildo bazooka. <laughs> In the end part, yeah, that I was a, they had a huge dildo cannon, and, uh, uh, man, it just blasted me in the face. <laughs> and, and, and what are the extras on the 3D? Oh, uh, man, we, you know, our DVD, movie, our, say. Our, we cut our bits down so tight that, you know, they could easily be a minute or two longer, and we've expanded uh, a whole lot of them, like uh, the uh, pin the tail on the donkey bit and the buffalo yeah. roller skate. And, and there's also a lot of, uh, aside from that, there's a, real, there's a real funny blooper reel, oh, which cool. I think Jackass is one big blooper, but it, it, I was, it really, it really, it's really good, man. You yeah, know, the, I, I, I loved it, Pin man. the tail on the donkey was probably yeah. one of my favorites. <laughs> that was an angry donkey. Oh, my God. They love kicking yeah. those things. And Aaron, like, I like how he's like, uh, I don't want to do that anymore if that's okay. <laughs> yeah. He completely blew up his argument in five, in, in, you know, in two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it really is funny, man. I would uh, definitely recommend uh, you go out and get that. And the 3D is cool, you know. You think, oh, I see it in the theater. I can see it in 3D. But when you get home... Uh, 
like I said, this old school uh, blue red lens th- th- 3D is it works and it's kind of fucking nostalgic. It's uh, it's pretty cool, man. Yeah, man. Definitely. And we can now we can violate you in your very own home. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Great, man. Hey, Johnny, thanks for uh, calling in, man. Hey, thanks a lot. And uh, okay, can I just tell you my uh, my cousin's uh, album "Too Fat to Fly" by Roger Allen Wade is going to be out this week. The single's available now. You just did. Yeah. <laughs> well, may, we should play this. We should play the song going to break. Do we have it in the system? What, what's the name of the song? I'll tell it to you. I think we we might have it over here, in our computer system. Yeah, you said the single's out already. Yeah, yeah, on iTunes. Uh, too fat to fly. Too yeah, fat we'll, to fly. We'll find it if we it's have it. We'll not p- about Kevin Smith. But it was inspired by that incident. Oh, nice. Kevin's oh, a friend yeah. of ours. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah. It's not about him, but I just read that thing in the paper. I'm like, Too Fat to Fly is funny. And I, so I called Raj and asked him to write a song, and he came back with it like in an hour. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll, uh, we'll play that either today or uh, down the road. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Johnny. Thanks, Johnny. I see you. Johnny Knoxville, everyone. Here he goes. Johnny Knoxville. Johnny sounds a little fucked up. He did sound a little fucked up. I got to say, Johnny sounds a little fucking either crispy around the edges or uh, like, you know, his morning coffee consists of uh, it's kinda early. an Irish coffee. It's early out there. You think it's uh, leftover from last night? Because he said he doesn't party. Like, like eh, I'll give him a pass. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I'll definitely give him a pass. I, I, don't, know. Know. I, don't, I don't know what's going on there. You know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm in a fucking... Giant glass fucking house. <laughs> I'm in a glass bar. <laughs> I can't say anything. All right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna break.